Hi folks and welcome to our exciting update. Today I am going to show you that Racestats app has now included everything to do with in running prices, in running odds, in play odds, in play, in running, both the same thing. And I want to show you how it is, how it works, how to use all the tools and show you just one race that I played using in running data. Okay, so let's get started. Now the first thing I want to show you are these percentages and lows and the highs and how to use those. Now a lot of confusion goes on about these, so I will really want to be clear about them. So first of all, I'll explain what percentages are. Okay, so if you have a horse with odds of 4.1 or 4.0, 4.0, you take out the stake, that's three. And let's say we want him at uh, work out what his odds are at 400%. So it's four minus three, minus one rather, equals three. 400% is 12, plus the stake back on is 13. So a 4.0 at 400% is not 16, but in fact 13. Okay, so the same goes if it's 25. It's 25 times 4 is not 100, but it is 97. So it's the odds minus the stake times the percentage plus the stake back on. Okay, same works for if you're looking for lows in running. So you want to look for a 5% low. So 25 to 1, less the stake, 24 less times it's 5%, it's 1.2. So a 25 to 1 at 5% odds would you be looking for odds of 2.2? Okay, so that's how a percentage has worked. Less at stake, plus the stake. You don't get your stake. You don't get 500 times your stake. So that's why it's taken off and then put back on at the end. Okay, so that's explained now. And hopefully everyone understands it. If you don't, watch it again and again and again. Don't save, save. Okay, so now that that's been said, let's start with uh, percentage lows. So in here we have our new IR tab. It has IP high, IP low in pounds, and then it has it also in percentages, IP high percentage, IP low percentage. So if I go and type in 5% here, I am looking for all losers that got to under 5% in running. So I need to be in the losers database. So pink goes with pink. Losers database. Now it's green because I'm in it. But so 5%. So play. So now I'm looking at all runners that got to 5% in running, 5% of their BSP in running, and still lost. And as you can see, so far there's been 18 this week. There still hasn't been a 6th or a 7th. There was quite a few today because I played them. But as of uh, this morning when we woke up, those were empty. Um, the IR, come into there and look at our percentage low. And you can see the 5%. There's been 16 so far, and or 16 at that, exactly those. And the dollar amount for those, the IP lows were, there was one nine between 101 and 1 1.24999. And one between a three between 1.25 and anyway you can see them there. Okay. Now if you want to see the SPs for those, you just go to SP. Make sure you're looking at losing SPs, not winning, but losing SPs, and it'll tell you that there was a three, a 5.5, etc., etc. So that tells you everything you need to know about those ones that got down to five percent, the tracks they happened at. This is this week. Uh, let's just do today, the days up till today. <coughs> so here's the track, the distances that they did. So here's all your distances, and the most common distance for something to get to 5% running and lose was six furlongs. We still haven't had one over two miles. I'm sure we did today. And we still hadn't had one in five furlong on one mile four. I'm sure we had four or five of those today. So these are pointing to you when you're looking in the mornings, going through your data, you're trying to find where to look, what to f what you're looking for. This is the place to do it. 
spend your time in the morning going through your highs and your lows looking for the where they should be happening what type of races they happen in the most common and where it hasn't happened yet because the ones that hasn't happened and they've happened every other year are the ones that are most likely to happen again today um, your distances the number of runners the most common runners that it happens in again there hadn't been 11 let's see I'm don't know, I can't remember if there was any 11s today, but I'm sure there must have been at least one or two um, that got down to 5%. So you have IP uh, percentage low, you also have IP percentage, uh, so IP pound, or whatever currency you're working in. So you can type 5 in there, or even 2, let's try 2, and let's see how many have got down to 2 in running. So. Uh, here's your lows again, with two there, what the SPs were, ESPs were, there was one way up at 32 that got down to below two, uh, the tracks they happened at, where they're most likely to happen, what race types, hasn't been one in a maiden yet, that would have been interesting to see if there was one today, we can check that when you get the video, open the video, go in, have a look, see what happened see if that did fill up and do the same for the last one okay so we can now leave lows and in running lows okay and we want to go to winning highs so when you're looking for something that got down low in running and lost you go into this section and make sure you're in the losers database now if you want to look at winners that got the highs then you have to go to the winners database and put in your price there so let's say what has got over 350 uh, sorry I want to do pounds not percentage 350 and play so this morning I woke up and I look in here and I go okay how many have got to their pound high this week We've had two 1,000s already this week. Okay, we haven't had any 350s yet. So basically every year there's something between 350 and 500, 550, and of course all these two th all these thousands have happened. Um, so, so that's what we're do looking at there, IP high. So again, if we look in here for uh, less, let's say 250. I'm going to show you something. We'll go to track, and look, we've got Pontifract. This was yesterday, and it said Pontifract had already had two so far, had two years where it had a high of over 250, and it happened again this year, right? And let me just show you because I did bet on it that's what happened so basically i risked about six dollars or six pounds um which i got back because i laid it off at uh, 165 so basically for cost of zero i made 311 pounds so that was on that pontifract race because i saw in the morning there'd been two and then later i'll show you why i decided to play that race um so this is your uh, filters for your high P low and your IP high, um, sorry, IP high percentage, IP high pound, dollar, whatever, um, and you are in the winner's database when you're using these. And then when you're using them, you have the same tools as you do with BSP. So you can go and look in here, see what the most common was or so ma basically you could put zero in there let's just start with zero and we can have a look at the week so far to date so we still have quite a few that are missing um, again when you get the video go into your app have a play and see how many of these were filled up today right I'm imagining quite a few were I know one was for another thousand there was another thousand winner today so that's now three um, where else so you've come in here you say okay I want to look at 60s so you type in 60 in there and maybe you only want to go to I'll leave it at that 60 
hit play, look at your track, and see all the tracks that have done it. Um, so the most common tracks, Wolverhampton, Utoxid, and Roscommon. So Roscommon is running today, so let's see if there was one there. Again, go in, have a look, compare it to the video, and see if there's a one in there today. Um, so then you've got your type, what types are the most common, uh, what hasn't happened, there's a handicap hurdle, uh, two is quite low, normally it's uh, three or five, three is the lowest ever before. So what you're looking for, again, the same as you do with BSP, and is looking for, see what's missing, what's due, and where should it happen. That's the main things you're doing, all you're doing, yeah, and writing it down. So you've got in your mind before the day starts, hey, I've got to start looking at handicap hurdles, and maybe the most likely is going to be between 11 and or 7 and 11 runners, 7 and 16 runners. Um, that's going to be the most common runners, the distance, the most common distance. Oh, ones with big gaps, 2 miles, 2 mile 4, and 6 furlong. None of those have happened yet this year. So I've got this written down in my head, and I'm waiting for those races to come along so I can see if I'm getting told by that race if it's a chance. So the other one thing you've got here, so you've got the IR tab where you can interrogate, as we showed you, the low BSP and high, high uh, BSP and, sorry, low odds, they got down low um, and lost, and then high odds, they got up high and then went on to win. And then when the IR tab or IP tab, you can look at the ranges of each of them and see where the most common ones are. And then, same as your BSP, you're looking to see where the most common likely place is for them to happen. So while I'm in here, let's go and have a look at day three, play. And then I can go to race number. And now in race number, I also have IP high. So I can look through and I can see here now this actually hit 880, so the what's here, what you're seeing here, are the published figures from Betfair, the actual highs, published highs and lows. So we know that that 290 actually hit 880, so, um, and I think I got 720 was my highest for 10p on that. Um, so when you're looking at these, just know that basically they don't, they're not going to be that far off when they're down at 20s, 30s and 40s that they start getting a little more, you can be a little more greedy once they get over 50s, and once they get over 100, and once they get over 200, you can be quite a bit greedy. Um, but obviously, you're not going to get $100 on at 1,000 or 290 to 1. Um, but, you know, you can always get 10p on at 600 or something like that. So these are published highs and lows. Um, and just experience will teach you how far you can go. So anyway, the, um, this day on the wet Thursday, sorry, Tuesday, this year we had a 290. Last year we had a 400 high. The year before that there was a 1,000 high. The year before that, one, uh, one, 170, 450, 320 the year before. So it shows you that happen a lot on this day. So all you have to do is filter down, have a look where they are, and keep in the back of your mind where to look for them. So that's everything you need to know about the three, the main things we've added here. Race number, IP high, and IPR, um, IP data tab uh, with the four different filters in there. And then these two filters for you to actually drill down so you can actually then look at the tracks, etc. So IP lows, pink, IP highs, Winners. Pink losers. Here, winners. Okay, so now the day starts, and we have this now in um, our sandwich bar. We have added IP pound high into the sandwich bar. So you can look down here for each race as it starts, it'll give you those. Now you see here why I played what I did. You see there's a 450 in there and an 80. I know there's a 17 and a 17. But look at all these. All three are five, so we're pretty confident that a five or a six is going to win. We know a five's got 80, so we're guessing that's good for 120 at least. 
and then we've got a 450 in there so we know that's probably good for 6700 but that was with six and today's DSP is 286 so it's really close to here um, and now we're saying fifth so we're thinking fifth that fifth and fourth and six are basically the same price so I think I did something like this um, I can't actually remember what I did I think I probably had four bets um, whoops and I probably went uh, uh, 80 Uh, what did I say? 120. No, I probably would have gone somewhere around 250. And then I think my big one was 720. And I did something like this. I'll probably be way off, but anyway, submit. Whoops, I didn't mean to submit just to that one. I meant to do it to all three. So I want to do it to three. And now I need to delete those off there because it doubled up on those because they said it again okay so I've got them on all three now um, I might put a lay in all those as well at uh, one point at five percent so back uh, lay five percent um, and we're gonna we've got how much at risk we've got six pounds at risk so we'll put six pounds submit there and I wanted to do those to all three as well <laughs> So I'll just do this manually. Back, fixed, 5%, 6 pounds, just down to those two now that are missing it. And we can run the race. Okay, obviously quite a bit higher uh, stakes than I thought because I got over double that. Um, but you see, 101 it got down to. So my lay was taken, which made sure I made a profit on everything else. And actually the favorite got down there as well. So I could have put another 5% uh, bet on that one, lay on that one. So that's how simple it is. So basically for a risk of six pounds, I've just made 148. Obviously I r must have had a little bit more at risk when I made the 300. Um, but you can see if I put 30 pounds on even, um, at that, then I would have come close. So I would have had 30 pounds at risk. But if I had done it to all three, I'd have 90 pounds at risk. Whereas for six pounds at risk, I have made over 148 pounds. So learning IR, finding out where to play them, and you know, don't don't just go in and play them. If I mean, if if it says uh, uh, basically favourites definitely going to win this, there's no point even trying to get a high on these because you'll get them, they'll hurt a thousand, they all hurt a thousand if they lose. So, make sure it's gonna win, see if there's a chance that it's gonna have a decent IR, or in play price, and if it is, put the bet on at those prices. Don't forget to get your insurance, a cheap 5% or 10%, uh, whatever you want to do. Um, and yeah, just go in there. So, to recap, go in in the morning, Look at your IR, just like you would your BSPs. Find out what the highs are, expected, what's missing for the week, or where we are for the week, what tracks you should be hunting, what distances, number of runners, etc. Get all that in your head, or write it down, and then come in here, and as the day goes, unfolds, look out for those races that were, you know, had the right amount of runners, or had the, as the right race type, etc., etc. So, that's all you have to do, and that's our new IR. It's absolutely amazing. It will change the way you bet. You know, if no one likes risking 30 pounds to make 60, but everyone loves risking 60p to make 100. So learn it, love it, and that's our new update from Race Stats App. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Cheers.